Hey, hello friends and welcome to Retro Portal Studio and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at ways to upload bulk data to Firestore collections. So why do you need this? So let's say you're making an e-commerce application or an application for some restaurant. So you have to upload complete menu data or stock data to your Firestore collections. So in such cases it is really hard to manually add that data to Firestore. You can also make a separate portal for upload, but even this is not useful when you have to move data from other services to Firestore. So for such cases, I have a simple Node.js script here that we will discuss in this video and you can download the same script from the link in the description. So let's take a look at it. Okay, so if you download the file from the link in the description below, you'll find some folder like this in it. So if you right click on this folder and open this in VS Code, you'll have these files available to yourself. The script that we want to use is this uploader.js. So this is the code that we'll be running in order to upload the data to Firestore. For using this code, what you need is a service key for your Firebase account and a list of files for the data that you want to upload to your Firestore. So right now, what you can see is that we have a files folder here in which we have different JSON files. So what you need is the data in the form of JSON to upload on your Firestore collections. So in this case, the collection is going to be starter underscore V, soup underscore V, roles underscore V, and so on. So basically, whatever you name your file, it's going to take out the .json in the end and give the rest of the name to your collection. So I have included all these files to test the script with your own Firebase project. The other thing that you need is a service key. So for that, what we need to do is we need to go to the Firebase project and in this, we need to go to this settings icon and from here, we need to go to users and permissions. So here you need to go to this service account section and you have a database URL here. And what you need to do is you need to copy this and come back to the script and paste the URL in place of your project URL. So once this is done, you also need to create a service key. So for that, you can click on this generate new private key. So this will prompt you that you need to keep this key private because with the help of this, anyone can access your Firebase project. I'll just click on generate key and the key will be downloaded to your downloads folder. And once the download is complete, you'll have a key like this into your folder. So the next thing we need to do is we need to rename this key. Uh, you can use the same name, but right now in the script, I have a name called service key. So what we'll do is I'll just rename this to service underscore key. The next thing I need to do is I need to bring this to the same folder in which we have all the files and I'll just paste this here. And right now we're ready to run the script here. So we have all the setup done, but before running the script, you also need to have two dependencies in order to run this script. That is this Firebase and Firebase admin. So for that, what we can do is we can go to the terminal and type npm install Firebase and Firebase admin. And I click on enter and it's going to install the dependencies. So once the dependencies are installed, you can just clear the command line and type node uploader.js and click enter. And you'll see that all the documents are written to the collections. So if I go to the Firebase here and if I click on database and let the data load, and you can see that we have all the data that we had in JSON files uploaded to their respective collections. So this script basically makes the tedious task of uploading stock data relatively easy and all you have to do is you have to give the JSON files and this script will upload the data to Firestore collections. So there is currently one limitation with this script that I have right here is that it cannot upload the data to nested collections. That means if you have a document and you have a collection in that. So other than that, this script will work and it will make your task much easier. So I hope that this quick tutorial helps you in your projects. And if you find this tutorial helpful, please hit the like button and the subscribe button for more development videos coming your way. See you next time. Peace.